Welcome to movie speeching. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take good care. The Silent Sea is the name of the movie. Please like and subscribe to get every update. A spaceship on an essential venture has crashed on the moon and the scenario is dire. Oxygen degrees are declining, engines are down, a crew member is hurt, and they're two aways from the research station. When Dr. Song awakens, she falls from her seat and notices the water, which means that there's a leak. She desires to fix it, but while she looks out, she discovers the spaceship is resting on the brink of a huge chasm. This all started out some weeks in the past. The 12 months is 2075 and Earth is going through a severe water scarcity. Sea ranges are falling, it never rains, and toddler mortality rates have spiked as people desperately devour contaminated water. Meals shortage continues getting worse because vertical farms can't do sufficient, and having pets becomes unlawful. The authorities establishes a supply regulation to control the situation, rationing water depending on social magnificence. The maximum critical residents get gold cards with limitless access. This has prompted masses of riots from the lower training. At the Surroundings for Human Survival Study Center, Track is operating with flowers and animals. She receives a visit from Phase Chief Kim of the SAA, or Area and Aeronautics Division, asking her to enroll in their undertaking. At the start she refuses, but she adjustments her thoughts while she hears it's approximately the Balhi Lunar Station, where her sister died five years in the past. Because of her demise, the authorities compensated Toon with a gold card. Toon attends a meeting to examine the project details and meet the group. The Balhi station needed to be closed because of a radiation leak five years in the past, so now the brand new group has to retrieve a few important samples and capsules to carry again to Earth for studies. When they land on the moon, they have 24 hours to complete the task, and the tablets need to be transported in low temperatures. If they have any damage, they want to be more cautious with them. The team isn't informed the pill's contents or their vicinity, so it's all very suspicious. Moments earlier than takeoff, the crew is shocked to learn the same old co-pilot has been changed on the closing 2D with the aid of a stranger named Lee. The spaceship leaves Earth and reaches orbit proper on agenda, and their flying is going smoothly until they get closer to the moon. The alarm starts ringing and that they research that the docking device is having hassle, which means the bolt received remaining in the event that they get into the landing orbit. On the grounds that they are able to reach the SAA, they decide to release the landing module early. Unfortunately, the main engine gained ignite and that they ought to alternate to thrust controls, which don't work both. The spaceship crashes at the ground and slides down till it receives stuck the wrong way up on the threshold of a chasm. Again to the start, the group suits up and tries to open the door, which causes the deliver to slide down a touch more. A few furniture starts falling and the crew dodges it, but it breaks a window rather. Track slips out and manages to maintain on on the closing second, and the others cautiously grab her hand to carry her back in her. In a while they get out best to look at the spaceship slide down and fall into the abyss. There's no communique with the SAA and the station is a touch over 7 kilometers away. But thinking about the restricted oxygen, they have no preference but to start on foot toward Balhi. Moments later, Huang collapses because of his punctured lungs. His fit is out of water, however whilst the others try to deliver him some, Huang stops them and throws up blood before loss of life. The crew makes a decision they'll choose up his frame later when they get rescued and preserve moving after leaving a vial of water within the guy's hand. By the point they make it to the station, their oxygen tiers are at 1%, so they hurry interior on the verge of fall apart and shut the airlock simply in time. Then a flashback famous track in her old lab seeking to decrypt a message left by way of her sister. In vintage communication facilitates her wager the password is Silent C in Latin and as soon as the message is decoded, it reads Find Luna. Later she requested Huang approximately it and he defined that Luna is the record's garage at Balhi Station. Within the gift, the crew recharges their oxygen components before going out to discover the station. Since it's darkish, their first intention is to discover the power deliver. As they walk via the hallway, they're shocked to discover a body on the ground. There had been many attempts to break out into the station because it turned into close down, and the suit and weapon suggest the man is a mercenary, probable working for the resource mafia. A short test indicates he drowned, which doesn't make sense. As they preserve to wander, the team receives every other wonder. The radiation stages are every day. Song is getting too suspicious of the government's lies and wants to do an autopsy on the mercenary to check for any ability hazard they'll encounter. However, Captain Han orders her to keep shifting. Finally, the team reaches the principal hub and turns on the power. The conversation machine remains down, but the radiation stages are okay and there's lots of oxygen, so they take off their helmets and activate the air filtration system inside the rest of the base. In a while, they study a map of the base and find out a few purple regions that require level 1 authorization and have been closed because of the intended radiation contamination. There are three storage areas and eight gates, so Han comes to a decision to break up the organization into three groups. Han's team reaches storage 1 but the door won't open, so they ought to pressure it by means of hand. The handiest get to open it a few inches earlier than an arm falls via, and while they open it absolutely, they discover all the our bodies of the preceding crew. 
they're within the same state as the mercenary so that they didn't die from radiation either. There are blood handprints on the partitions indicating the crew tried to break out. However, it seems the vicinity became shut down in an emergency. This means the group died after the shutdown and no longer earlier than as the authorities stated. In a while, Han's crew enters Garage 1 and notices a person had already been there. There are a few tablets at the ground, however, they're all empty. Song's crew heads to Storage 3. However, they forestall when they discover an ordinary biosignature on the scanner. Since it's shifting alone, it could be a group member. So Chief Gong comes to a decision to investigate and tells his teammates to wait. On account that this is getting too bizarre, Lee tells Toon that she turned into Wright to be suspicious and gives to cover for her at the same time as she heads off to the infirmary to locate the clinical statistics. As quickly as she's long past, Lee enters Garage 3 to discover the strength isn't operating here and the pills are empty. He by chance drops his flashlight and whilst he reaches below the furniture to retrieve it, something takes the flashlight away. After the preliminary surprise, Lee attempts once more, handiest to find a capsule full of water. In the meantime, the crew heading to storage reveals a few creepy drawings on the ceiling. The storage door won't open either so that they need to hack the lock. Once inside, they discover that a person already searched the region and the closing drugs are empty. There are bodies at the floor but this wasn't radiation death both due to the fact the levels are excellent. When he seems more closely, Suchan realizes one of the R bodies is protecting a tablet. Whilst he pulls it from the stiff hands, he by chance presses the body's chest and reasons it to cough up a peculiar spore that enters Suchan's eyes. The pill he grabbed is empty too so the team starts heading back. On his manner out, Suchan feels peculiar and water droplets can be visible moving underneath his skin as he starts off evolved hallucinating things like a starfish at the wall. Any other flashback well-known shows that before the undertaking, Toon had already been discovering the Balhi station and noticed a weird sign. Later Kim amazed her with the aid of announcing that the signal wasn't on the door, it was on the ground. Inside the present, Toon receives a message from Gong telling her that he misplaced the bizarre signal and he's going returned. So she has no choice however to go back without locating the image. Whilst she makes it to the storage, she finds Lee at the door and sees how something pulls him again into the room. Track at once goes inner and discovers Lee being choked in opposition to the ceiling. Once he's useless, the mysterious entity drops Lee on the ground and takes the tablet away. When Toon tries to take a better look, the entity disappears. At that moment Gong returns and calls the relaxation of the group. Physician Hong inspects the body and discovers Lee has fractures throughout, which fits Toon's weird tale. Han continues to be suspicious, so he watches the pictures from Toon's body cam, confirming the existence of the odd entity. They move the fixtures in which it become hidden and discover a very long vent system, so they ought to decide if searching it. In the meantime, a few group participants go back to the main hub and Su Chan suddenly starts off evolved, vomiting water all around the floor, not able to stop. His teammates call the others, and as Hong rushes returned, she tells them to put on hazmat fits and forestall the water. The teammates place Su Chan on his again, However, water nonetheless drips off the corners of his mouth. Quickly, Hong arrives and tilts his head returned, inflicting the water to hold popping out. The doctor cuts Su Chen's throat to insert a tube that makes the water spurt out like a fountain. Then she takes a sample of his blood most effective to peer it pop out all watery. Water maintains coming out of the tube without a lead to sight and in the end Su Chen dies, drowning similar to the bodies they determined earlier. As soon as the filtration machine clears the air, the crew can take off the hazmat fits. Hong will do an autopsy of Lee's frame and Toon will check out the fax garage, not worrying about Han's refusal anymore. The other group individuals want to quit because it's end up too dangerous, however Han publicizes the mission is still on and takes a few men with him to search for the entity even as telling the rest to re-establish communications at any value. Han's team enters the vents and reveals the equal creepy drawings on the partitions. Their scanner finds a biosignal coming near them, however it appears to be in some other part of the facility because it passes right over them. The team attempts to follow the equal route and comes throughout a door, however it's locked. At that moment they get a name from the guys within the major hub saying they made development with the comms, so the team decides to head back. Meanwhile Suchin's frame is taken to the infirmary, wherein Hong starts starting him up. Music checks the clinical data however they're all locked so she is going to collect tissue samples from the alternative R bodies. Minutes later whilst track is running, she thinks she's found the body of her sister, but whilst she checks the tag she notices it is a one-of-a-kind woman with the equal surname. In a while track returns to the infirmary, wherein Hong confirms that the frame became packed with water from the inner without a symptoms of outside damage. Song mentions the alternative our bodies had comparable signs and symptoms and whilst she assessments the samples, she discovers the preceding crew had been in ideal health when they died, and not using a signs of virus or microorganism. No longer to say Suchin's blood seems to keep a separate layer of something unrecognizable. Lower back to Han, he learns from the others that they need to restore the digital unit. Usually the elevator would take them there, however it's out of order so someone will must climb down, which may be very risky. Han volunteers to head, and whilst he stops by means of to tell the medical doctors, Toon shares a principle. 
The creature didn't hurt her and is acquainted with the inner base shape, so she thinks it can be a survivor. However, Han thinks it isn't viable. Afterward, Music and Hong observe the vomited water and word it's distilled. It seems the water itself will be the virus, in all likelihood extraterrestrial, and it is able to be the solution to the drought on Earth. It's no longer inside the air, so something took place five years ago that made it unfold a number of the vintage crew. On the chasm, Han starts off evolved, cautiously descending to reach the unit. All at once the elevator starts shifting on its own and the computer controls are unable to forestall it. Han holds on tight and movements out of the manor just in time, so the elevator continues going and disconnects Han's rope inside the process. Then it crashes into the station, causing the power to head out most effective to go back a 2D later. Then the group starts decreasing the rope again, however Han asks them to throw the whole lot off because the elevator is now falling. Shifting quickly, Han connects the rope to one of the shafts and dodges the elevator again, but this time his body bounces in opposition to the metallic and his oxygen gadget is broken. After dreaming of his unwell daughter returned on this planet, Han comes to a decision to keep going in place of returning and effectively reveals the unit. He fast modifications a panel so the team can reboot the device, then he passes out. Fortuitously the group fast saves him and brings him back, but they have horrific news. The comms still are not working. The laptop is absolutely purposeful, but for some reason there's no signal. All of a sudden they detect an unknown signal coming from storage 3, so that they move there to look into. The room seems to be empty, but once they test Lee's body, they find an antique communicator indicating he's a rogue agent. The use of this communicator, they manipulate to make the comms paintings and get in contact with Director Choi of the SAA. After Han updates her on the entirety, Choi orders him to pay attention on locating the intruder, and Han asks for the codes to access the constrained regions. He also points out Choi isn't amazed via anything he noted, so he suspects she is aware of more than she we could on. In the meantime, Toon wanders around the station and finally unearths the door with the join up the floor, but she wilt open it without the proper code. She returns to the lab and makes a decision to attempt a new take a look at. She drops a few blood on a sample of vomited water, and it at once starts multiplying at an remarkable velocity. They right away hit it with extinguishers and all of the drops immediately freeze, confirming that the water can simplest multiply as long as its host is alive. Track rushes to Pier Han, pronouncing the sample they had to pick out up has always been water and accusing Han of understanding everything. A flashback famous what Kim and Choi advised Han earlier than the challenge. Song's sister Won Kyung had found water on the moon, so the Balhi station become constructed to have a look at it. Han tells the others of this and says he stored the secret to protect them from moles like Lee, however Toon at once corrects him. She points out the lunar water is what killed absolutely everyone because it may be managed, but the government is hiding that information because they possibly need to commercialize it without caring about the effects. Then in personal Toon tells Han that her sister desired her to be there and asks him for the get entry to codes. They go to the door with the symbol and after Han eliminates their body cams, he uses the code to subsequently open it. The walls are protected with the database, and on a hatch on the floor, they're taken aback to see some leaves. When they open it, they discover an extended tunnel covered with plants. Toon and Han immediately convey the relaxation of the team and they agree to pass investigate. Even as E2 remains by way of the hatch to shield it, the others carefully climb down and locate more than one storage rooms packed with flowers. In addition they notice this area isn't at the map. Ultimately they discover a control room with lots of sample tablets such as a damaged one at the ground from which all of the plant life grew out. The team begins amassing tablets to take returned, and Han notices something transferring a few of the vines. Other group individuals observe something in the hallway best to all at once scream and run away. The creature tears off E1's arm to scouse borrow his tablet, so Sun shoots it to make it drop the sample. The creature runs to hide within the vines and Hong processes E1 to find out he's died. The others technique the vines and open fireplace whilst the creature movements, leaping and hiking around like a monkey. It doesn't prevent shifting until a stray bullet hits a bursting pipe, making the entity fall. The team procedures the creature, and they're taken aback to look it's without a doubt a younger female with a weird protuberance on her jaw and reptile eyes. Whilst she sees them come nearer, she fast runs away and leaves through the upper tunnel, knocking out E2 inside the manor. The others try to follow her, best to find out that the sample she dropped before has broken, and now the water is making contact with E1's blood, multiplying at a loopy speed. The crew rushes to retrieve the sample briefcase and runs to climb out even as listening to an alarm burst off in the manipulate room. They choose up E2 and make sure to lock the hatch once more earlier than dashing to the infirmary. Afterward Hong and track function on E2 because there's blood in his lungs, and Ryu has to donate some blood to help. Once he's left by myself inside the infirmary, Ryu well known shows he additionally has an extra communicator and sends a person a message saying he has a pattern. The mysterious man or woman replies with orders to do away with all witnesses. Then the crew discusses what befell and Toon theorizes that the female is attempting to forestall them from taking the water. Han calls Choi to verify they have the samples and informs her the intruder is a young lady. However Choi tells him to kill her besides. 
After she hangs up, Choi well known shows that she has a photo with the lady from a few years ago. Subsequent, Han authorizes Track and Hong to go again into the tunnel to collect statistics even as he returns to Storage 3. He is going within the vent and this time he opens the door, allowing him to locate the broken vent the woman used to move around and a bunch of bloodstains. Han follows the blood even as two of his guys discover every other vent beginning in a hallway, in order that they pass internal and locate a place no longer on the map. There are greater bodies right here and they start following the blood too, handiest to all of a sudden be startled while Han falls in front of them. It seems the girl has whole understanding of the station and may flow through it effects. Within the mysterious tunnel, Track and Hong get admission to the database and Music admits that she had no concept her sister changed into on the lunar base until she became knowledgeable of her loss of life. Won Kyung had called her as soon as earlier than the accident, but Toon didn't pick out up the call and now regrets it. After they ultimately breached the laptop's protection, they're bowled over to look all facts has been erased. The duo returns to the infirmary and reveals Ryu taking the samples, pretending that he has orders from Han. Music gets suspicious and prevents him, and when Ryu takes out his gun to kill them, they all step again after they see the girl at the door. Ryu attempts shooting her, however the girl dodges all of the pictures and jumps on Ryu to knock him down. At the same time as the relaxation of the group arrives, Track carefully indicates she weigh no damage and places down a tablet for the woman, who has a tag with the name of Track's sister. When the girl grabs the pattern, Ryu destroys it with a shot, and the girl collapses as she has a seizure. Toon notices the protuberances on her cheeks moving like gills, but the woman runs away due to the fact she will take a better appearance. Afterward Song places away all of the other tablets and tells the crew that the water can't kill the lady. A few crew individuals need to kill her however Track forbids it because the girl is the handiest hazard they have to keep humanity. Then Han calls Kim, who confirms Choi was the one who ordered the station to be shut down and not each person in SAA agreed. He refuses to share more information, he most effective urges Han to work with Song to find the truth. Whilst Kim leaves his workplace, he discovers a few rioters have managed to break a storage wall, and now everyone is rushing to collect water. Meanwhile, Ryu sends a message requesting help forces. He gets a name from his contact, revealing it's an American guy who insists he have to kill each person and go to Gate 7. Ryu grabs all the samples and as he leaves, E2 wakes up and sees the whole lot. E2 tries following Ryu, who immediately shoots him and hides all of the evidence. Back to Han, he tells the others they'll trap the woman out to capture her alive. They find the female's location with the scanner, and then Track stands inside the middle of a hallway with a sample in her hands. All at once the female comes out of the vents so Track places down the sample and starts strolling away. Han closes the first gate and drags Toon out so he can close the different one, causing the girl to run out and get her leg stuck within the door. Track attempts to assist her and as the woman bites her, she well known shows a tag on her neck that says Luna 073. When Track calls her that, the girl begins crying, and Han shoots her with a sedative. Then Track opens the door and rushes to comfort the poor female. At that moment, Ryu turns on closure for all the gates from the main terminal. Luna panics and rushes to escape through a vent, so Music grabs the pattern and follows her proper before the gate closes between her and the group. Hong is locked up within the infirmary and when she exams on the samples, she finds Itu's body within the freezer, so she informs the others. Sun runs to undergo in front right earlier than the gate comes down, so he starts off evolved making his manner to the command center. Han and Gong manipulate to run via some doorways as properly, however quickly they additionally get caught so that they decide to take the vents. Inside the intervening time music movements via the vents. Her map is damaged and he or she can't touch the others. However Luna waits for her to reveal her the manner. After masses of wandering, Toon reveals in workplace that Luna transformed into her personal hideout. There are drawings at the partitions, a gaggle of capsules, and photos of the vintage team inclusive of Receive Kim. Toon stocks some sweet with Luna and after the female falls asleep, Toon ultimately unearths the lacking statistics brick. She connects it to a computer and watches a video referred to as Water Reaction Take a Look At, wherein the previous crew examined the lunar water on a fish. The little animal survived and the water crammed a small tank. There's also a video referred to as Luna, and Toon is horrified to discover the preceding team had finished genetic experiments on human clones. On every occasion a Luna died to another failed take a look at, they could convey out a new one, making the wide variety on her name pass up with each test. The modern Luna is the 73rd clone and the handiest one that survived. The following video is from Gained Kyung, who explains she did all this to shop humanity but isn't pleased with it. Then Song injects Luna with the water pattern, which instantly heals her wounds. At the identical time, Hong escapes the infirmary via the vents and after wandering for some time, she's greatly surprised to find out a garage with loads of lunas in luggage. She screams whilst a person touches her, but it's simply Han. 
Together they discover a door at the quid of garage that takes them near to the manage room, but they'll should use the vents to get admission to it. Meanwhile Solar makes it to the command center, simplest for Ryu to welcome him together with his gun out. Ryu pushes Solar and shoots him once before checking the map, allowing Sun to leap on him and disarm him to then begin a combat. The guys struggle for a while and as soon as Ryu manages to push Solar off, he retrieves his gun and shoots Sun once more. Noticing he's fallen subsequent to the suitcase, Solar retrieves a pattern before he gets shot all over again, causing the tablet to fall and destroy. Ryu locks Sun up and watches how the water begins multiplying together with his blood. Solar receives inflamed and after hallucinating a starfish, he starts throwing up huge quantities of water earlier than drowning to death. Then Ryu tries to show at the air filtration machine, only to find out an anomaly inside the stress machine. This is due to the water inside the plant rooms, which has unfolded and flooded the area. Ryu ignores the caution and opens the filtration device anyway, giving the water room to hold on growing. At that moment, Han and Hong drop down from the vent and discover Solar's frame however no Ryu in sight. Han at once opens all of the gates, and now the water has even extra room to maintain on expanding. Gong continues to be within the vents and sooner or later finds Luna's hideout. He desires to shoot the girl however Song gets among them. While Gong informs Han, he also wishes him to keep them alive and produce them over to the primary hub. In a while Han subsequently finds Ryu and jumps on him, starting a fight. The men war to benefit control of the gun and keep by chance shooting it, developing holes in the ceiling. Eventually Han manages to overpower Ryu and tries to choke him, but Ryu punches him and gets away as he by accident drops his communicator. At that moment the filtration device gives in and water begins sprouting out of all the vents, leaking out of the base and freezing below space's cold temperature. The water also starts off evolved to dribble through into the hallways and creates a wall between Ryu and Han, giving Ryu the threat to get away. Then a flashback suggests the incident five years ago. Everybody turned into operating usually when abruptly the alarm commenced ringing, so the crew ran to evacuate while the water determined a touch seed on the ground, instantly making it develop. The computer stored closing the gates and no longer absolutely everyone made it out on time. Others determined the hallway blocked by way of guards who might shoot at them to hold them lower back even as the gates closed. Inside the gift, the water is beginning to flood the station. The team reunites inside the clinical bay and discusses how to proceed. Abruptly music begins feeling unwell and runs to fasten herself up in any other room, not trying to infect the others. Then she starts off evolved vomiting water and passes out as she sees herself drowning. But while thinking about her sister, Toon sees a mild and starts combating towards the water. Minutes later, Music is shocked to awaken inside the infirmary. Hong theorizes that Luna's Chu crammed her up with antibodies. Then Han and Gong examine Ryu's messages and contact Kim, who confirms the SAA rescue deliver has detected a second spacecraft approaching the base. Music desires to recognize what will take place to Luna, and Kim explains she'll be taken to the Ministry of National Protection and the authorities will retain with the test. Toon refuses to convey the water again to Earth and Han Famous, he requested Kim to gather the alternative officers to head in opposition to Choi, however Kim explains no one desired to sign up for him due to the fact Choi is strong. After the call ends, Toon says they need to visit the International Institute of Space Biology because it's a secure and impartial area station wherein they can purchase time to make a higher plan. In the meantime Ryu wanders around the station as he starts to hallucinate because he's inflamed too, seeing the people he killed blockading his way at the same time as the water maintains to leak through crevices. Again to the group, Han manages to benefit Luna's agree with because she sees the sticky label his daughter placed on his badge. This lets in Han to put a tracker on her ankle just in case. Then the group starts off evolved making their manner out, but Luna suddenly drops to the floor and hears the water flooding the hallway under theirs. Panicking, she runs in the other course and the team follows her right earlier than the water reaches their hallway too. Vent lids preserve to snap out all over the area and extra water keeps coming in. However fortuitously the crew runs fast enough to attain gate 7 and near it at the back of them. Here the crew finds a delirious Ryu, who shoots in the air to maintain them lower back and starts off evolved crying as he apologizes for all the human beings he killed. It turns out he became certainly one of the guards that saved the scientists from escaping five years ago or even pressed the button to near the gate. Noticing the water about to convey down the gate at the back of them, Gong shoots Ryu a couple of times to carry him down. However, Ryu manages to land a bullet on him too. Now the group can step forward and bring down some other gate that forestalls the water just in time. Even as Ryu vomits watery blood and dies, the group grabs his samples and rushes to the airlock, where they begin suiting up. Gong is very susceptible, so Han closes his wound with tape and facilitates him put on his fit, but his efforts are in useless and Gong dies anyway. 
Once each person is ready, Han attempts to spark off the air depressurization. However, the gadget isn't operating and Hill should do it manually. Ignoring tracks, please, Han sneaks out and turns on the lever proper earlier than the water reaches this vicinity too and brings him down. At that second, Track and Hong notice that Luna has already long gone out without her in shape. Each ladies right away depart the station, strolling for his or her lives as the water brings down the remaining gate and reaches the out of doors, immediately freezing. In a while, each ladies go looking for Luna and locate her looking earth. It appears she doesn't want oxygen to live. Close by the water drops Han's body, and when Luna procedures him to try to return the badge, he dies crying for his daughter. Then, in the end, a rescue go back and forth involves pick out them up. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Leave a comment about your favorite movie and we will make it next. Thanks for watching.